Zero. De definitely, when we do a good job, we... Well, let me put it like this. When we do a bad job, we always hear about it. And when we do a good job, we rarely hear about it. Yeah. Um, well, I mean... So it's, it, I feel like it typically falls on us or people who we talk with and are like cool enough with to take criticism from and to mm -hmm. criticize to find out like how well we actually did. Right. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. there aren't that many people who I feel I can ask, hey, how did I do? And they'll really be like, hey man, you did a good job. Or this needs to get better or whatever. There's mm -hmm. not that many people who, who certainly almost nobody will just bring that up, mm -hmm. um, at least in a civil manner. But uh, even when I ask, a lot of people like are hesitant to really criticize. So I feel like it falls on just me to like in internally yeah. criticize myself or like we'll we'll like sort of wrap it up afterwards yeah, sometimes. Yeah, we always have. Like he and I will we'll, we'll talk with each other about how it went and we'll be like I think it went well, but this could have been better. Like but mm -hmm. this could have been better or like this was well done in particular. Or, you know, we'll like sort of try to break it down. But, you know, we're coming from our own individual inside perspective, so <laughs> right. I don't know that we're always accurate about it. Yeah. But. I mean, the other interesting thing, too, I mean, it's kind of like you said, right? Um, I, I, I always feel like we did a good job doing commentary when no one talks about our commentary. Yeah. Because it's interesting. Uh, and it's not, I'm it not saying sense. like, it's, it's, uh, it makes a lot of sense. right, because when you watch it, if it's good, if it, if it works, you don't pay attention to it. It just feels like a natural part of the situation, mm -hmm. right? It's when something is bad, it definitely sticks <laughs> out, and you really need to say, like, you just can't help but want yeah. to say something about it. <laughs> you know sure. what I mean? So I'm not, you know, the, the fact that people don't, like, sit there in stream chat, like, this commentary is really good. Like, the fact that they don't do that. <laughs> I'm not sitting here, like, complaining, like, I'm why, don't you, time. why don't you compliment, <laughs> you know, why don't you compliment me? No, I totally get it. And so, like, if I actually don't see any negative stuff, then I feel like like yeah. sometimes you, like you'll check the neogaf threads and stuff like that yeah i typically try that yeah and if there's like no posts about us then i'm like yes yep well <laughs> job well done <laughs> i mean to be fair i i do the same thing uh -huh. with other stuff like oh yeah like i i rarely i rarely like give props to people who i think do good work it's just right, I, don't right. know, I rarely think about it but if somebody sucks then i'll mm -hmm. like I don't know that I'll let them know, but, like, I'll talk about it. Yeah, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll sure. think about it more. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I always talk about, you know, back to the whole sports analogy thing. Like, I always tell the story of how at one point in time the Lakers coach was Mike Brown, and I hated that guy. I just thought he was the worst coach There's ever. There's not a similarity between, between you and me, because I watch MMA a lot. Like, oh, every, yeah, yeah. Every, freaking minute of that's my right life. that's right yeah, so like yeah. i use i use their commentary and and mm. their like their blueprint mm -hmm, for how they present like their their product and, and you think all about basketball yeah yeah yeah, yeah. even back in the day i remember you used to oh i used to, oh, i mean back when the lakers were good i used to watch them now <laughs> it's hard <laughs> but i mean yeah i mean when mike brown was their coach there was just one time i was just watching it and we played this horrible game and i'm just like god i hate this guy I wish you would die in a fire, and like I was just like really violently, like aggressively mean towards him, and I was just like, God, you just do this, you know? Well, like yeah. when when you see someone and you don't like what they do, that's just how it. Like they're not human to you; they're not a real person. Yeah. So you just want to say stuff like that to them, you know? Like you can talk about because I I've had plenty of times where there will be threads where someone says something really mean about me, and I I'll reply and be like, Hey, I'm that's sorry. That's <laughs> well, no, it's funny because when you do that, all of a sudden you're there and then the people like who are the meanest were like, no, no, I didn't mean it that way. Like, I really meant it kind of like this. I mean, if, if that's how you see it, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some places it happens, other places obviously not. But, you know, for the most part, it's it's just when you're not human, it's like it's very easy to, 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 to talk smack on people. So. Yeah. yeah, it's easy to idolize. It's easy to talk smack, you know, if you... If you don't think of the person as just being some person, they're just like a guy. Dude, just like doing even the opposite. Like, we just did our 2015 awards, right? Mm -hmm. And we, like, named some people for certain things. And we got, like, a couple of replies from people. They're like, oh, I'm just, like, I, I feel so, like, happy that you guys, you know, gave me one of the yeah, awards. Or and, like, I literally am just sitting here like, dude, I'm just this schmuck in the basement <laughs> like i just made this list Literally. like who the who the who, like why does my word even mean anything you know so it's actually really interesting to me you know from from the even from the opposite side 
when someone does say something positive, it's like I, I it's still hard for me to process that. You know what I mean? I hear it's kind of weird. So, so like uh, earlier today, uh, what is today? Today is Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. Or something. And yeah. it's like my my only full day in SoCal. <laughs> but, but I had like a really good four hour conversation with uh, Alex Vai. Oh, cool. And, and uh, one of the things that we talked about was like, uh, what is the right what's what's the right word here? Uh, like uh, giving players like credentials. Like, um, like for example, like we all know who the top eight is. Like, we, we might be able to predict who's top eight in mm -hmm. Wednesday night fights, right? But then, like, giving that that middle tier, whoever those middle tier yeah. players are, like, giving them a little bit like of, of a boost, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, your awards might have done that for certain players, and who knows? Maybe mm -hmm. they might improve as players. Maybe they might put more time to the scene. However, like, no matter what, like, what you did was not a bad thing. Yeah, well, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. How dare you like me? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's one of the reasons why we do it is because I do like to try to give props to other yeah. people mm -hmm. as much as I for can sure. because it's just, it's hard. It's hard for a lot of the people when you work as hard as they do. Mm -hmm. And, and I mean, like I said, when it comes to like tournaments and stuff like that, I feel like a lot of the times me and David have the easy job, right? Yeah. Because we just sit down and we talk about, I mean, dude, there's tournaments that we don't go to and then he'll like, he'll come over and we'll watch it. And it just sounds like we're commentating it anyway. Like we're just, talk <laughs> we're just yeah. talking about yeah, it, you there. know? Yeah, yeah, that's true. So it, we're just talking about it. It's just, you can't help it. Be like, oh, that was really interesting how he did this, yeah, blah, blah, blah. You know, but there's some of these guys who are behind the scenes, like, you know, like the Chris Seglias and stuff like that, who are just basically busting their ass, like the, mm -hmm. the entire event. And nobody's heard of these guys, and I think that sucks, you know? Yeah. So, you know, I definitely like to call them out, even though I know Chris tries to stay behind and stay, you know, hidden as much as possible. Yeah. I mean, I mean, for, for him, that's his own personal choice, but I mean, yeah. I, I definitely... I, I mean, not just, like, saying their name, have, like, a graphic there or something like that. Like, yeah. I would yeah. love to do that. Yeah. yeah that would as be long really as they're nice. comfortable with it, but I, well, I think for the most part, people would be fine with it at least mm -hmm. you're not mm -hmm. putting the social security out there you're not talking about you know, right whatever what girls they like or something it's yeah. just showing love for what they do yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that would be really nice that's something that not that many tournaments do but it's always nice to see when they do do it yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. that was sweet good answer guys <laughs> <laughs>